The heart supplies blood to the body. Blood carries important materials which are required for the body to function and to keep healthy. These include nutrients and oxygen. Blood also helps to get rid of waste and carbon dioxide from the body, as well as fighting infections. Blood is transported around the body via blood vessels. As the blood is transported through the blood vessels, it exerts a force on the walls of the vessels. Blood pressure is a measure of the force that the heart uses in order to pump blood around the body. We measure two values, systolic pressure and diastolic pressure. Remember, systole is when the heart contracts and pushes blood out. Diastole is when the heart relaxes and fills with blood. Normal blood pressure is between 90 over 60 and 120 over 80. Anything lower than 90 over 60 is considered as low blood pressure. Anything higher than 140 over 90 is considered as high blood pressure. Low blood pressure is known as hypotension. It's less common, however, it can be caused by side effects of medication, dehydration or any underlying health problems. High blood pressure is known as hypertension. High blood pressure is more common. It's usually related to lifestyle habits that are unhealthy. For example, an unhealthy diet, lack of exercise, being overweight, stress, smoking or alcohol. Genetics also plays a role. For example, too much salt in your diet can cause water retention. This results in an increase in blood volume due to the extra fluid. Therefore, the heart has to work harder to push this blood through the blood vessels. Another example is when you're stressed. The body produces hormones such as epinephrine and norepinephrine. These cause the heart to beat faster and the blood vessels become narrow. This means that the heart needs to work harder in order to push the blood through the blood vessels. If high blood pressure is left untreated, then this can increase the risk of serious health problems. For example, heart disease. This is due to the constant strain on the blood vessel walls causing damage such as tears. For example, if there is a tear in an artery due to high blood pressure, then cholesterol and fats also attach onto the damaged area. Over time, this can form a plaque and cause the blood vessels to become very narrow. If enough blood can't get around the body, then this can cause damage to tissues and organs, or it can even be fatal.